Looking to find out if that new hero shade that just came out is worth that heavy price tag? Well, in this video, we're gonna dive right in and answer that question right after this. What's up guys, it's your boy Gazda back at it again with some new Archero content for my non-exclusive Archero only YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, this is where we play Archero, which is a mobile game available on Android and iOS developed by Habby Studios. Free to play, fun game, and on this channel, in this series, we dive into tips, strategies, guides, gear, gameplay, you name it, we got it. If it's Archero related, we cover it. So if that seems like content that seems exciting to you, I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. I upload about two to three times per week, and while you're at it, please leave a like and a comment. I read the comments, I respond to the comments, and both of those things really help my YouTube channel to grow and flourish. But anyway, you read the title of this video. We're gonna be dealing with shade today. Is she worth $19? Now that's a high price tag. That's as much as Sylvan. We're gonna have to find out right here. So jump cut, because I don't want my uh, personal details exploited here. All right, and we are back. So we purchased her. So let's give a full demo of uh, her at level one. Let's go ahead, let's not even upgrade her. Let's see what that ability looks like. Um, and let's see, we will give her all gray gear. Okay, so I gave her like the lowest quality gear that I could muster while also giving her a balanced weapon like the bow, got rid of the pets. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into a chapter. I already did a run and I forgot I had the pets equipped so I had to abandon the run. But we're gonna just see how much damage she does. Check out her ability. So we'll go with rear arrow that has the least likelihood of you skewing the numbers. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like her invisibility thing has nothing to do with her attacks. But when she's invisible, she does, I just want to confirm that, 1281. When she's regular, she shoots for 946. So we'll put some math on the screen of what that would be of an increase. Okay, so it looks like, guys, and it, you can see on the screen right here, your arrows, your speed has nothing to do with her and her shadow self. She switches between them, I'm counting, every five seconds. So five seconds, she's in her regular form five seconds she's in her shadow form where she deals more damage so take that as a you know take it as you want i don't know if that's necessarily good it's an act of skill but um you know that means i guess half of the time you'll do more damage and half of the time you won't i don't know what that lightning was just there right now because that wasn't appearing before, was it? Um, trying to go with abilities that don't modify attack too much. Let me see that again. Hold on. Where was this lightning coming from? Oh, okay. But it doesn't happen every time, does it? Hmm... Interesting. Again, this is a first look, guys. I'm not making the Meowjik mistake of saying that Meowjik's a terrible character, uh, like I did without enough playthrough. You know, fool me once. So this is a first look at Shade. It's gonna require a lot more testing for me to make up my mind, and you know, I'm gonna leave it to the Reddit and Discord detectives to figure out how worthwhile Shade is. But it seems like there's more than meets the eye with her ability because sometimes when she's 
in her shadow form you can see she shoots out lightning which we're gonna i'm gonna put up on the screen like a screenshot of how much damage that's doing and it's a different kind of lightning than the lightning bolt it's literal like a thunder strike and sometimes her arrows just puts like a some sort of magically imbued like dark touch kind of thing that ticks off for some damage that's totally random though it's not like every shot like sylvan it seems it's definitely well i mean there might be totally random or it might there might be like a method to the madness kind of thing and they she has the dark touch imbued in her i'm not paying attention i'm just trying to pay attention to her so i'm not paying attention to dodging the attacks this is very interesting. I can't make up my mind on Shade just yet. She's definitely a different caliber of a character. Definitely different than Sylvan. So far, she seems very powerful. She might be more powerful than Sylvan. Because again, I have all level one gear and I'm taking on chapter three with all level one gear no problem i mean obviously i have been playing the game a while so i have a little more skill but i don't know i i would love to see her leveled up i'm gonna have to level her up and see if she's comparable to sylvan she might be better than sylvan she might be equal to sylvan um or it might just be totally like equal and then it's just a preference thing which would be really nice if the game would introduce you know just play style instead of whenever new things come out it instantly replaces whatever was the best before you know that kind of aggravates me a little bit that they do that but the shadow self with the damage increase definitely is helpful and it's nice that it's every five seconds the random debuffs that she shoots on the enemies i'd like to know how that's calculated but i don't have any method of figuring out that madness so i'll leave that to the reddit you know detectives and the discord um scientists to figure out exactly how those shots are decided because sylvan is not random it's every single arrow shot is a random element whereas hers seems to be completely random like sometimes the lightning strikes down sometimes it doesn't sometimes a dark touch effect is imbued in them sometimes it's not i don't know if it's like a, every certain amount of arrows that is going to take more testing to figure out but from the onset right now i will say that if you have the money to spend Shade looks like a good choice, but if you don't, you know, I also recommend Meowjik. Meowjik's good and Helix are great characters too if you just want to save up your gems because those are technically free because you just need to use your gems. You can buy gems, but you can also, you know, um, just save up the gems that you get from like all the chapters and the achievements that they introduced. But we're about to finish up the chapter and the video is not quite over yet because I want to remind you that this is just one of the videos that I'm uploading today on new patch. So I want you guys to check out one of the other videos that I uploaded today that covers more of the patch details. This video is going to be covering the patch as a whole. Okay. And then of course, there's another video on me going over the spell books, but check out the patch as a whole video right here. And, um, you know, of course, if you like content like this, I highly recommend you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Upload about two, three times per week. First look, I will say, Shade is worth it if you want to spend the money. It seems like her abilities are unique enough and that she's got quite a wall up to her. But you're not missing out if you don't buy her. You can still complete the game just fine. But we're going to do another video of her soon. And I'll leave this template for you to click that when that happens. I'm going to compare her to Sylvan because I really enjoy Sylvan. And uh, I want to see them going head to head. Who's really better? Who's doing more damage? But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.